Bron 3, I'll Ruin the Flash, starring Ezra Miller, Michael Keaton, Sasha Kelly, and directed by Andy Muschietti. Yes, finally, I have seen this movie. And after seeing this movie, I'm here thinking like, whoa. Uh, of course, when this movie came out earlier this year, this movie was a huge flop at the box office. And all this speculation around this movie was really so bad. And uh, of course, some people really love this movie. And some people think this is the worst movie ever. So I had really low expectation watching this movie. But after watching this movie, I see why a lot of people really praise this movie. Uh, although if you don't like Ezra Miller, uh, likeness on, on this movie will be quite different than mine. So I personally like uh, never liked Ezra Miller before this movie. Uh, so when this movie came out and everybody was praising Ezra Miller, I was thinking like, really this Ezra Miller in Justice League, he's not that good. His character is goofy. I, I, I actually didn't like him that much. But after watching this movie, I understand why people like him in this movie because especially uh, like me i never liked him before i thought he was actually quite good in this movie and it was quite shocking watching him in both of this character like they are so different from each other but i thought he did such an amazing job playing this uh, like older barry and playing this younger barry and balancing both of these characters so well so I, i'm gonna say like i'm gonna sound like everyone else yes Astra Miller is really good in this movie, but so is Sasha Kelly and Michael Keaton. Uh, both of these, like all the acting is so good in this movie. Yeah, um, all the criticism about the CGI, you know, this movie has. Uh, I think some of the part of this movie CGI, it looks so good. Some of the CGI looks really good. And there was some part, uh, especially I guess when he was in this uh, time uh, paradox what was it called time traveling that part of this movie cgi looked really kind of like a weird looking then again andy mushiti he came out and he said that is the look he was going for in this movie i think i personally believe him that that is the look he was going for uh, but i think maybe the polishing wasn't good uh, then again and uh, uh, we don't know so many reshoot and reshuffling went through Overall though, I still really enjoyed this movie. This movie at the time, it was quite funny. End of the day, why like everybody praise about this movie is this why. This, overall, this movie is actually quite well directed. Even though all the reshoot, reshuffling is still end of it. You still like this movie because overall it's quite well directed. Acting is so good. Although CGI is not overall so good. But you can still forgive because of the character story is actually quite emotional and of this movie i was tear in my eyes because the way the story told uh, about barry and his mom i was like whoa this is sad it's really sad i was really in tears you know that is what i was thinking when i was watching oh that is what people are talking about and uh that is that means everybody will love this movie well i think at this point people will not love this movie but as the time will go on this movie, it will be loved by many people because overall this movie, the story it's telling about Flash, it done good job here. You know what I mean? <laughs> same reason people like the Aquaman movie, same reason people like the first Wonder Woman movie because the character you are telling a story about, you done good job setting up their character, uh, especially uh, Ezra Miller, he did good job here, I guess, which is really sad saying this because, you know, uh, although I, I, I could see some of the reshoot this movie had, unfortunately, it's really unfortunate, but overall though, this movie still is, it, it's good. I actually really liked Andy Muschietti, his work here. Uh, that is why I also like Shazam, I forgot to mention in this, you know, these movies are character central. They've done good job telling Barry Allen his story. Uh, that means I, I feel like, uh, telling barry uh, allen origin story in this movie they done really dirty to irish west her storyline like her his uh, love interest it's a huge deal in the tv show unfortunately in this movie they really like did bad you know irish west is like like they didn't do good job with their character i didn't like irish west uh, like storyline at all uh, i wish supergirl had more dialogue and more stuff to do here but unfortunately Supergirl, it was quite let down, uh, but Michael Keaton, man, he was so good in this movie, I was like, 
he's really you know he's like michael keaton and batman yeah he's, i really liked all the scene with him although you do like batman and the super girl still the center of the story is flush and you do like him end of this movie and the sacrifice he made here and also i forgot to mention i really like all the dc reference this movie has uh, it feels like it, you're watching a d true dc movie and i really like this movie but if you didn't like i understand and if you like like me uh, i understand and yeah because it's a lot to take i guess if you don't like azra miller but he done good job in this movie that's what i'm gonna say as a critic uh, as a fan also i liked him in this movie and that's my thought on this let me know in the comment what do you think about this movie if you enjoyed this review don't forget my other reviews on other movies if you enjoyed this please subscribe until i see you next time please take care